But we begin the news at five with that jaw dropping testimony about the Capitol riot from a former White House aide. Let's get you up to speed. Good evening. I'm Leslie Foster and I'm Lorenzo Hall. Cassidy Hutchinson spent most of January 6th, 2021, just feet away from President Trump and his chief of staff, Mark Meadows. And today she shared publicly what she saw that day. Let's get straight to Adam Longo, who watched every minute of today's hearing. Adam, take us through the biggest takeaways. Sure. So the testimony, Leslie, that we heard today in front of the January 6th committee really painted a portrait of President Trump's actions and his anger on the day of the Capitol riots. And what's key here is that the details we heard today came from the only witness to this point who was in the West Wing of the White House every day. The witness will please stand and raise her right hand. Cassidy Hutchinson was an aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows on January 6, 2021. She recalled a conversation with Meadows four days earlier on January 2nd. There's a lot going on, Cass, but I don't know. Things might get real, real bad on January 6. After his January 6th rally on the ellipse, President Trump fully expected to be driven to the Capitol. It's not clear what he planned to do there, but inside the presidential limo, Trump was told by his head of security they were going back to the White House. I'm the effing president. Take me up to the Capitol now. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Angle. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motioned towards his clavicles. President Trump was irate that day and other days, Hutchinson testified. So mad, he apparently threw his lunch against a wall after Attorney General Barr gave an interview a month earlier declaring there was no widespread election fraud. There were several times throughout my tenure with the Chief of Staff that I was aware of him either throwing dishes or flipping the tablecloth um, to let all the contents of the table go onto the floor. And so another major revelation coming out of today's hearing. Committee Vice Chair Liz Cheney revealed that indeed there were, on January 6th, active discussions by members of President Trump's cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment. That's the process by which a president can be removed if it's determined by the vice president and a majority of the cabinet that a president is unable to discharge the duties of their office. Of course, that didn't happen, but several members of President Trump's cabinet did end up resigning that day. All right, Adam, so we know Hutchinson described a lot today in great detail. So where do we go from here? All right, so we still have several more hearings by this January 6th committee. In fact, Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin is going to lead one of them about the militia groups and organizations like the Oath Keepers and Proud Boys and their roles in January 6th and potential connections to the White House. And then the committee is going to produce a report, a report on its findings and recommendations moving forward. Then all eyes shift to the Department of Justice. Are they building a case against the former president? And will Trump face criminal charges for anything he did or did not do on January 6th? So, all right, Adam, thank you. Yeah.